Hey everybody, what's up? Peter back with you here. Uh, thanks for following me. Thanks for watching the videos. And uh, you know, I'm starting a new batch of videos. I mentioned it the other day. And uh, so this is video number two and it's uh, June 2nd, 2022. And I'm here in the backyard, beautiful, sunny Colorado, Central Mountains central rocky mountains of colorado and we get so many incredibly blue skies here i'm just going to turn the camera towards the sky for a minute so you can see yeah that's what i love about living here is the, the just incredibly blue skies we get here is a big part of it and the temperature um just uh it, it's never too hot never too cold here it's just uh, oftentimes it just feels like paradise but anyway you know that's it i just happen to live here and and um so i don't take that for granted it's a great thing and i've worked very hard to make that happen and so um you never know when things will change but for now we're here in, in edwards colorado so anyway i wanted to mention last night i had a bunch of fun we went to the ford amphitheater in Vail, Colorado, and we saw uh, Joe Russo's Almost Dead, and um, it was a fantastically amazing show. It was an awful lot of fun, and a lot of a lot of our a lot of if you're a, if you're a Grateful Dead fan, there was just a lot of a lot of favorite songs that they played. You know, uh, Foolish Heart, and uh, you know some of my Tangled Up in Blue. Toward the end of the first set, I really liked the Feel Like a Stranger uh, Candyman. It was freaking amazing. And then second set, uh, one of my all-time favorite Grateful Dead songs, Easy Wind. And, you know, then they went into Scarlet Not Fade Away, Throwing Stones, China Doll, and uh, Fire on the Mountain for an encore. So that was last night, and it was great. They're playing there again tonight. I might go and see if, see if I can get a miracle ticket. Who knows? But... Uh, Anyway, now I just wanted to switch over uh, to what this channel is really about, which is food cooking uh, and nutrition and great tasting food that's actually really good for you. So, um, you know, if you're, you know, I'm all about preparing food from scratch and, you know, that processed foods just have so many hidden products in them, especially a lot of sugars and uh, preservatives and stuff, artificial flavors. I just personally, I don't think it's good for you. If you're, if you're struggling with your weight or, you know, uh, trying to control your weight, um, you know, processed food and restaurant food to some degree is something you really gotta get a handle on and cut out. So, um, you know, I just, with that said, I don't wanna go on forever with this video today. So, but I wanted to mention some really good fats that you can incorporate into your diet that will help with your, you know, lower, hopefully ideally control your weight. Olive oil, avocados, nuts, fatty fish, like salmon, artichoke, char, mackerel, sardines, um, you know, and plant, pr so, you know, another thing is you got to lower your sugar intake, you know, really be careful with sugar. Obviously, we're going to, we need a little bit of sugar. Um, I, I believe in a little bit of sugar, but it's something that I, I like to use at it myself and try not to use processed foods that have sugar in them already. You know, natural sugars, like if you're going to eat a piece of fruit or something like that, great. You know, th those sugars are much better for you than say something like soda pop or an energy drink or something like that so just be careful with your sugars and control your carbs you know there's a lot of different foods that have higher carbohydrate indexes than than others like pastas and breads and stuff like that very high index with carbohydrate you know you really got to control that uh reduce it considerably and that's what i do and what with my diet is i'm more on a high protein high fat you know lower carbohydrate low sugar uh, diet, lots of fresh vegetables, salads, and fruits. Um, so we want to get, uh, you know, proteins, vegetable proteins. There's so many great vegetable proteins out there. Tofu, quinoa, stuff like that. Um, so I just thought I'd mention the vegetable proteins. I feel like they're very important to get into your diet. And, um, you know, I like the high quality 
animal proteins too. You know, I'm typically I'm searching out orga organic, you know, uh, proteins, beef, organic beef, chicken, pork, you know, organic fish, and all, all anything organic is, is a little better for you. You can't always afford it, but you know, and there's there's also good clean proteins that aren't necessarily organic. You just have to be careful when you're choosing. So, um, you know, that's about all I have for you today. And um, appreciate y'all tuning in. So uh, I'll have another video coming up here in the near future. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.